Spell it the way it's said. All right, so I'm sitting here with James. We're at Spirit Dodge Chrysler Jeep and about to do a follow-up call on a customer that visited the dealership earlier today. Had visited apparently multiple times uh, trying to get the customer to settle on a car. We switched cars how many times? Uh, three. This three now. Be the third car, trying to get them back in on a particular car at this point. Got some figures and numbers and things like that, but we're going to try to see if we just get her to come back in and uh, meet her, talk to her, close the deal. Yes? Her name is Cloda. So, let's go. Hi, is this Cloda? Hi there, Cloda. This is Jonathan Dawson. I'm in sales and customer service over here at Spirit Chrysler Dodge Jeep. And I'm following up on customers who had visited the dealership here recently. And I saw a note that you had visited the dealership recently. Um, do you have a quick uh, minute, quick couple minutes? Spirit Chrysler Dodge and Jeep. James. At Swedesboro? Oh, fantastic, yeah. So I actually answer to the owner. So what I do is I follow up on people who've contacted the dealership. If whether they've called in, emailed in, or came by, I just follow up on their experience and how things are going working with the dealership. So you said you were in this morning then? You were with James this morning, that's fantastic. How, uh, do you mind a couple quick, quick questions? How was your experience with James? Oh, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. And as far as the information you're working on with James, were you able to get the questions? Uh, you said you filled out uh, some information when you came in, is that right? Okay. And then what was the next step for you? Was it to see about getting... Uh... Okay, fantastic. Is this regarding, um, some people are calling regarding a particular vehicle or they're calling regarding financing and programs. What was your, what was your questions regarding? Yes, I do. I mean, if you're... Okay. Yeah, of course. Yes. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, uh, you said you were looking for SUVs, is that correct? Okay. I have to ask you a side question real quick. You sound just like my aunt. Um, my my mother's uh, from Birmingham. My sister was born in Dublin, and my family's all British and, and Irish. Northern Ireland. Yeah. My grandmother's actually in Wicklow. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, if it's, oh, it feels like a, it feels like I'm talking to one of my aunts right now. I'm having I'm I'm smiling right now because of that. That's so fun. I don't get to talk to them very often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, geez, I, I'd really love to meet you. I'm going to be here all day myself as well. What's your availability for coming in and uh, and working with James and myself on getting you into a nicer, newer vehicle? What's your availability this afternoon? Did you say after three? Yeah, I'm going to personally be here till about 5.30 myself. If it's possible, I'd love to meet you myself while I'm here. Again, I, I'm in customer service, so I'd love to help you. And then, yeah, I'm the one that works with anybody who's got questions concerning, like I said, financing, uh, whether it's uh, whether people, we have so many customers who are either trying to establish credit, reestablish credit, you know, trying to get into nice newer cars. I'm the person who specializes in that. So I'd be happy to assist you in that as well. And then James, you're, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, you got a letter from the Cap One company? Yeah, that's fantastic. That's a wonderful program. That We're the ones that sent that out, yeah. 
Oh gosh, no, don't worry about that at all, Cloda. I want to let you know that we specialize in helping people get reestablished. It's something that we're very, very good at. I'd say as much as 40% of our business every month is helping people either get into a new loan for the first time or helping somebody get reestablished into a nicer, newer car. So we're experts at it. Yeah, and I'll be working with James personally when you come in. Just ask for James like you did before. He'll let me know that you're here, and then I'd personally love to get involved and help you in the process. No, I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell him right now. Listen, I'm gonna find him and let him know that you're gonna be coming in at three o'clock. But um, you're saying that the main thing you wanted to do when you came back in was you wanted to get into a nicer, newer SUV type, but keep your payments, you know, reasonable and affordable. Correct? Absolutely. I'm in, I'm 100% on board with what you're trying to do. Yeah, I'm confident. Yeah. Listen, it's going to be so great to meet you. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, so did you say, would you be able to do right at 3 or a little after 3? I just want to make sure I, I set some time aside for you personally. What are you thinking? Okay, but if you had to guess, it would be somewhere between the 3 to 4 or 3.30ish or something like that? Yeah, in that window. I'm going to keep that window open for you, Cloda. All right, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Okay, now I'm Jonathan, okay? Okay, pleasure to meet you. Bye-bye. Right, Should be here at 3.30. Okay. Oh, sorry. Should be here at 3.30. <laughs> so we just realized that we ended the call, but we didn't really recap. So we, now we want to recap a little bit. So James and I were just talking, and we want to share with you a little bit what happened on the call. So let me get the phone here. Yeah, okay. All right, so James, uh, what are some of your observations based on the call um, that you would say you can transfer to yourself? Well, I noticed that when she brought up objections or comments that you diffused them and kind of just continued moving on in a, in a confident word track manner, but uh, straight, straightforward, no, no yeah. fluff. Just right. kind of moved them right out of the, you know, moved all that stuff right out of the, out of the way and kept going to what your objection was. Or so your objective was. Yeah. So there's two. There's two main things I was trying to communicate to Cloda. One was connection. I wanted to make a connection with her so she could relate to me and know that I relate to her. So obviously the fact that she's Irish, um, again, I happen to have my, my grandmother lives in Ireland. And so that, that was not obvious, a natural connection. But even if I didn't have that, I'd have found another place to connect with Cloda. But the other place I could connect with Cloda was I could sense that it was important to her for financing, for programs, and for credit reestablishing. So the second thing I wanted to communicate to her was confidence. So that was the other part. You want to have connection, you want to also have the confidence part. So what kinds of things did I say to instill confidence? Um, I'm confident we can do that. Yeah, yeah I, I'm uh, an expert at that. I'm an expert We're at an that. expert at that. Well, That's not what just we that. Do. Um, yeah, uh, we do 40% of the p business that we do is helping people either right, re get reestablished re or established. Yeah, right. So a lot of that was, uh, you know, yeah. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean, a lot of that just kind of. You know, exuded from the confidence yeah. in the conversation that you had with her. That's exactly right. So saying things like, you know, I understand where you're coming from, or this makes sense to me, or I see what you're trying to do. Um, we're experts at this. This is what we specialize in. This is something I'm very good at. These are things that will assert confidence for the customer. They just want to know that if they put their situation in your hands, that you're very capable. So you want to assert that, you know, and let them know, hey, we specialize in this. This is what we do. Um, your situation is very common to me. I've worked with people like this a lot, you know, so I'm very comfortable. With, with trying to help you. Um, I'm going to improve your situation. I'm going to help you find that nicer, newer car. We're going to make you, you know, get you in an affordable situation. All those things is what transfers that confidence to the client. So if you can create that connection and then also insert that confidence, people want to come meet you. Uh, and again, overemphasizing that. You heard me say it, sir. I want to meet you. I'm yes. looking forward to meeting you. Absolutely. It's going to be great to meet you. Yeah. I want to set aside some time so I can, you know. So so that whole make idea. So yeah, they want to not just make them feel that way. They want to know that they are and that you care and that you're you're literally trying to meet them. Um, so that's what you want to convey as well. All right, make sense? Yep. All right, excellent. Thanks. Bye.